In this video, we'll be linking our Ledger hardware wallet with a MetaMask hot wallet. So we're gonna download MetaMask and then we're gonna connect our Ledger to our MetaMask so that we can use the assets on our Ledger with applications. So I'll leave timestamps for all of the different sections down in the description. We're gonna go and install MetaMask right now though. So come to metamask.io. I'll link it down below as well because you don't wanna go to a fake site or anything like that. So metamask.io. Then we can go and click download. It uh, sees that I've got a Chrome browser, so I'm gonna install it with Chrome right here. So press install MetaMask for Chrome, takes you through to the Chrome store. You can see I've got removed from Chrome, so I already have this application, but if you just press install right here, it's just like any other extension, right? So it just installs in your Chrome browser. In the top right-hand corner of your Chrome, you should see the puzzle icon. Just click that, you'll see MetaMask there once it's installed, and then go and open it and then we can get through to the setup process. So from here, we need to create a new MetaMask wallet. They're actually two completely separate wallets. And so we need to set up a MetaMask hot wallet with its own seed phrase, which is entirely separate to our Ledger device. Under no circumstances, use your Ledger seed phrase and uh, recover that wallet in MetaMask. The reason is, if you use your Ledger seed phrase to recover your Ledger wallet within MetaMask, you've basically turned your hardware wallet into a soft wallet, right? So the hot wallet has your seed phrase. So under no circumstances do that. They are completely separate wallets. Do not recover your Ledger seed phrase anywhere apart from when using Ledger hardware wallets. So we're gonna set up a new MetaMask wallet right here, and we're gonna get a new seed phrase, which is separate from our Ledger. So click create a wallet. Then from here it says, do you want to help with some you know, improvements? You can either agree or disagree here. Then we go to create a new password. This is a, an app specific password that lets you lock the MetaMask application on your computer. So, you know, if other people use it or anything, you can just lock it and so they can't access the hot wallet. Because if someone's in the hot wallet on your computer, then they can send around your money anywhere else. So you can just lock the application itself with this password. This isn't your seed phrase, it's just a password lock for the app. So create that and then go through to continue and then it gives you the seed phrase. So this is the seed phrase, which is brand new for our brand new MetaMask wallet. So this is completely different from the ledger. Now you can go and write this down somewhere safe. This is the backup phrase for your hot wallet. So if your computer blows up or it, you know, for some reason MetaMask uninstalls, you can reinstall this particular hot wallet on a different device using this seed phrase. You can also use this to recover this specific hot wallet on a phone as well. You can actually link it up through a QR code as well within MetaMask, but this seed phrase is the seed phrase to your hot wallet. I recommend keeping this because it's good wallet um, safety to actually have your hardware wallet and a hot wallet uh, at the same time, use the hot wallet on applications or you know, if you're minting stuff online or on chain uh, and use the ledger device for your investments. But you can write this down and keep it somewhere safe. And then it's gonna say, you know, confirm the backup phrase and make sure the order is correct to make sure that you've you know, got it written down and everything is correct. So this is the seed phrase to your MetaMask hot wallet. Once you've confirmed that you've written it down and you have it in the right place, you can then go through. Now, I wouldn't recommend using this type of thing for a hot wallet. Hot wallets are kind of throwaway accounts. And so you can just write it down somewhere safe. But if you lose that seed phrase, then you lose access to that wallet. So you need to keep it somewhere where it's not gonna get lost or damaged in any way. In terms of ledger recovery phrases, this is much more important because this hardware wallet, I assume is holding your investment stuff. And so, you know, you might wanna use something like a crypto tag or this, which is actually the seed phrase, which is this thing. And you can essentially write it down or etch it in steel. And so, you know, you're never going to damage it as long as you don't lose it, you can always recover the wallet. I recommend that for Ledger, not so much for hot wallets. You can just write it down maybe, but it's up to you, it's up to the individual. And then once you've got those seed phrases written down and in a safe place, you can uh, then go and actually use the MetaMask wallet. I'll leave a link below to the official Ledger site if you wanna look at those plates. Also, you know, you can buy Ledger devices from there as well. If you don't have one yet, you're looking to see how this works. But right now I'm assuming that you have Ledger Live set up. If you don't, then I'll leave beginner's guides for both MetaMask and Ledger and Ledger Live and setting up the wallets down below as well. But assuming you have Ledger Live set up already, we just need to prepare it for using MetaMask. So we can go to our uh, Ledger and make sure we have the apps that we want installed. So go to My Ledger down here in your Ledger Live. Just make sure that your Ledger device is plugged in and open right here. And it says, do you wanna allow Ledger Manager on your device? We're gonna click allow so we can get in there. And then what we can do is see all of the applications that are installed. So 
MetaMask is an Ethereum wallet, and so you're going to be using ETH at least, and then other EVM style chains. So Binance Smart Chain is EVM, Avalanche, uh, we have Polygon, and then we have the ETH layer two networks like Optimism, Arbitrum, Polygon, ZK EVM, these are all direct layer twos. Now, if you're using an ETH layer two, you just need the ETH or Ethereum application installed. When you sign transaction in, in, transactions in MetaMask, you'll be doing so on the Ethereum application on your ledger. There aren't Arb Arbitrum or Optimism applications, so you can't download those, you just use the Ethereum app. If you're using Binance Smart Chain, this is different, so you need the BNB application installed right here. So whichever one that you want installed, just make sure it's installed on the right-hand side. So Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, all of the others, if they're here and you've got those assets, you can install them right here, and then you can actually use them within MetaMask. Now we can connect our ledger to our MetaMask. So once you've got the MetaMask wallet set up in your Chrome browser, it should take you through to this page, which is the main page for the wallet that you've just set up in Chrome. So if you don't have this, top right hand corner, click the puzzle icon or the extensions icon, click that, you should see MetaMask as an extension. Click the MetaMask extension, it will bring up this. Then just click the three dots and click expand view, that takes you through to this main page. Now from here you should see the um, the name of your address, I think it's maybe account one, and you have your wallet address right here, which is completely separate. This is linked to the seed phrase that you just set up. So if you want to recover this address, use that seed phrase, um, but this is completely separate to your ledger. From here, we need to add our ledger uh, to MetaMask. So we're going to click this at the top, then go down to add account or hardware wallet, and then click add hardware wallet right here. Now from here, just make sure that your ledger is plugged in and it needs to be in the Ethereum application. So we've installed the Ethereum application in our ledger live. On your device, you should see the Ethereum logo. Use both buttons to click into that application so you're in the Ethereum app. Then you can go and connect and continue. So you can see it uh, sees that I've got a Nano X and it's already paired, but I'm just gonna click this and press connect. Now what it's doing, is essentially reading the accounts that I have in Ledger. Ledger is entirely separate to MetaMask, but Ledger has accounts, and of course, because it's on the blockchain, it can be read, read only, right? So it's reading all the accounts that I have in my Ledger. It sees that I have an account right here that has some Ethereum in there. This is the account that you can add. This is the number one account. So if you don't have any ETH in there right now, it's not gonna see the ETH, but you can just add this address. Now you can see there are other ones as well. My ledger has other Ethereum addresses and accounts that I've set up as well. So if you want to add those, you can add them all in now. These are separate addresses, but they're all within your ledger. So your ledger links all of these addresses to the seed phrase that you have with your ledger. But of course you can add all of them into MetaMask to read them and then use them uh, with your ledger. So add one or many right here. I've got this added already, so I'm just gonna cancel. But whichever one you wanna add, just click them all and then press unlock right here. And that's gonna connect it with your MetaMask. So if I press cancel, cause I've got this one set up already, takes me through to my main page. This is my MetaMask wallet. But if I click here, you should see now that you've added the ledger device. So this is my ledger and this is the uh, account and address on my ledger. So I'm gonna click this. It then brings me into my ledger device. Now, these are the assets that I have on my ledger and any you know Ethereum or anything like that that you have, this, you can read it right here. MetaMask has no access to your ledger whatsoever. It's just reading the balances right here. And you can use MetaMask to sign transactions or anything else, but that's all done on your ledger device. They are separate. So you need your ledger plugged in at all times in order to sign transactions and confirm sending assets around. From here, we need to add the networks that we want to use between Ledger and MetaMask. So if you have assets on Binance Smart Chain or Optimism or Arbitrum, then you can use those through MetaMask, but we need to add them first. So top left, come here, and then press Add Network down at the bottom. You can see I've got all of these added already. So we're gonna click Add Network and then Add Network manually. And then we need the details of the network that we wanna use. So I'm gonna link this down below, which is chainlist.org. This gives you the details of all the networks that you might wanna use. You just add them in to your MetaMask. So I'll show you with Binance Smart Chain here because you've got Ethereum mainnet added already. But we can just click this on BNB Smart Chain. See Arbitrum here, Polygon, OP, right? All the popular ones. So we're just gonna click this down. And then these are the details of the RPC that we can use with MetaMask. So the address right here, I'm gonna copy. 
Go back to my MetaMask network name. I'll just put BNB. You can name it whatever you want. New RPC is this one. Chain ID, you can see here is chain ID 56. Currency symbol will be BNB. And then the block explorer is optional. You don't have to put that in, but you can if you want. Click save and that adds th that network right into your MetaMask. So if you go back, once you've added that, up here you should now see the name of the network that you've added, right? So that's this one, you can swap them around. So as you can see, I do have some uh, BNB in this wallet as well. And so I have a ledger account with BNB on BNB Smart Chain. I've added that network in, so you can view all of your uh, assets on all the different networks that you've got in Ledger that are compatible with MetaMask. We're using MetaMask because we want to use applications. So I'll show you how to connect your wallet to an application and make sure that you're in the co correct wallet because you now have two wallets that could connect to the app. So as an example here on Uniswap, we're gonna launch app, go through to the Uniswap application. Top right, we're gonna click connect wallet. And then it says MetaMask here. And then for right now, it's actually connected to my hot wallet and not my Ledger. So what we can do is actually get the MetaMask extension up. So just get your Chrome extension icon to load MetaMask like this, and then make sure that you're in the wallet that you wanna use. This is my hot wallet for MetaMask. So up here, I'm just gonna change it to my ledger, click that, and then my ledger is now connected. So that is the address that I know is my ledger. And then from here, we can use the application. And I'll also show you how to sign a transaction with the ledger as well, because MetaMask has no access to your funds. You cannot sign transactions, which means you can't send funds. You can't use the funds in any way on your ledger device unless your ledger is plugged in and you physically sign the transaction on that device. So this is just read only for now. So what we're gonna do is send some coins. So I'm on Binance Smart Chain in my ledger and I'm also connected to the Binance Smart Chain app on my device. I'm gonna click into the application so that I can use it and sign transactions. From here, I'm going to send a transaction and I'm gonna send it to my hot wallet. So I'm using the ledger wallets, sending to the different wallet in my MetaMask, which is my MetaMask hot wallet. So I'm gonna click that. And then it says, which asset do you wanna send? So I'm gonna send BNB. I'm gonna choose an amount, let's say $10. You can see the gas is two cents. I'm then gonna press next. And it says, here's the gas. And do you want to actually go ahead and sign this transaction? So what's gonna happen is that in order to send this from my ledger, I'm gonna to have to see the transaction on my ledger and confirm it. So if we go to confirm right here, what it should say on my ledger, you can see review transaction. So I can click through, review this transaction, and I can see the amount being sent, I can see the address it's being sent to, and I can also press accept and send, so that actually sends the transaction. MetaMask cannot send your funds because this is your ledger wallet and you can only sign transactions on the physical hardware device. So I can accept and send that transaction and that goes through or I can reject it. So I'm gonna press reject and that's rejected the transaction. You can see in my MetaMask it says failed. So unless your hardware wallet is plugged in, MetaMask cannot do anything with your funds. Ledger and MetaMask are completely separate. You can only send transactions from your hardware device using it and uh, accepting on the device. So that has failed, it hasn't gone through, but that's how you send a transaction. You use MetaMask to either send a transaction or use an application, but everything has to come and be accepted on your Ledger device first. I'll leave a link below to beginner's guides for both MetaMask and Ledger. I'll link the Ledger store down there as well if you want those seed phrases or just another Ledger device. I'm James, it's Money's Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.